Hello, welcome to Pathagonia. This is Jay. Today we're going to talk about Echinococcus granulosus, which is a cesto or tapeworm. Viewer discretion advised. Thank you to the CDC and Wikipedia for the images and charts. Echinococcus granulosus can develop in both the definitive and intermediate host. The definitive hosts are canines, and this is where the adult form of Echinococcus granulosus develops, and they release the eggs into the dog's or the canine's feces. And the intermediate hosts, which are cattle, including sheep, pigs, and sometimes humans, will ingest these eggs, and these eggs will develop into hydatid cysts. And the cycle goes on when the canine eats the meat of the intermediate host, and has the hydatid cysts, and then they develop into the adult forms. So, let's look a close. Let's take a closer look at the adult form. The head, or the scolex, has four suckers, as well as hooklets. They have three segments: the immature segment, the mature segment, and the gravid segment. This is where the eggs are released. On average, there are give or take 800 eggs, and this is released when a dog defecates. And if a sheep grazes and eats the egg on the grass, then they will contract echinococcus granulosis. Or if a human doesn't wash their hands and touches the grass or a dog, then they will also become intermediate hosts. These eggs can enlarge and become hydatid cysts, even to the point that it grows into, has a couple of liters of fluid as well. So this is a portion of a hydatid cyst. This is part of the host tissue, and then this is the acellular layer of the hydatid cyst. And then within the cyst, there can be like little mini cysts that contain protoscolices. And if the cyst ruptures, it can kind of seed the surrounding area. Now, here's a, what we call like an H and E under the, uh, the hydatid cyst that we see under the microscope. And you can see this kind of laminated acellular outer layer of the hydatid cyst. Now you can imagine if this grows large, it can cause obstructive symptoms. So hydatid cysts generally go into the liver for humans and it can cause abdominal pain, obstructive symptoms like jaundice, uh, elevated lab values like your alk phosphatase or alkaline phosphatase. And so treatment can be treatment can be surgery, it can be a watch and wait approach as well as kind of anti uh, tapeworm medications. So thank you for watching this episode of uh, Pathagonia. Just to summarize we talked about Echinococcus granulosus. You have the intermediate and definitive host, the former being cattle and humans, and the latter being canines. And humans can ingest the eggs that can develop into hydatid cysts, which can slowly enlarge over time, containing liters of fluid and can cause obstructive symptoms. Have a good one. Bye.